Hey guys, this is my full review on baked ROM for the Nexus 7. This is build 5, by the way. Build 6 is supposed to be coming out tonight, so look forward to that. But I've been wanting to get my review out for build 5, so here it is. Don't worry, I will be doing a review on build 6 in the near future. But as you can see, we are running baked grouper, black bean 5. In case you're wondering, I am running like the full tablet UI, so everything does look really, really small. Sorry about that. Um, I'll show you how to change that in a minute, but I just wanted to show you guys. This isn't 4.1.2, but it's still smooth, so it works. So if we go under baked ROM control, which is kind of like the AOKP stylish. So as you see, we have about team baked, which we can go to their IRC, view their source. Or in also their website and then the developers. Um, we can control the CPU. As you see, the max is 1.3 gigahertz, so there's no overclocking. But you can mess with voltages. I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't mess with those. But if you do, you know. Um, you can also mess with your build dot prop, your build prop. So you can mess with all the. They don't really work though because it's not a phone and most of these are like speed hacks for like 3G and HSUPA so I mean if, if you want to because this is also available for phones too that's why they have that included so um, under sound you can mess with the you know headphones plugged in and also if you turn your tablet upside down you can choose what to do when you do that uh, power menu press and hold the power button as you see I have screenshot and also the rest were just kind of there, so I just left them. But I don't have the navigation enabled or the profile chooser, so let me enable those and show you guys. That's the navigation bar. That looks like download, actually, is it? I don't know what that was. Oh, okay, this takes away the navigation bar. So, I mean, that's kind of useful, but I, I want my navigation bar, so. Um, when you're running full tablet UI whoa that's so bright when you're running full tablet UI um, you can't mess with the navigation bar sorry for that getting out of focus right there um so that's one thing to note but oops, let's go back into ROM control sorry and you can mess with navigation bar when you don't have it in full tablet UI of course like where you can add the whole bunch of you know I think you can add up to seven to like AOKP let's go under system settings you can enable the kill all button I don't see it when you're in the full tablet UI though so that's another thing to note but as you see I'm running the force tablet UI at a LCD density of 160 so it's like a miniature um, transformer prime basically actually so it's like a miniature transformer prime it may be hard to see for some of you guys but not you know everybody so you can also mess with the custom slider shortcuts you see I have most of mine which include my Gmail Google talk Pandora Google Plus Facebook plume and of course just unlock it and let's go down to weather you can have the weather on the lock screen let me show you guys the lock screen here is the lock screen for that to focus. That is a full moon. You see Middleburg clear 75 degrees. And of course I have all of my shortcuts. So we'll just unlock, go back to calendar. And as you see under calendar you can display the you know all your local events. And then you can also choose your lock screen settings. Like lock delay. I don't use that, but you can have you know lock screen text color, battery status, stuff like that. Um, let's go to tablet power widgets. You won't have these unless you're in tablet UI, of course. You'll just have the regular power widgets if you're in the regular Nexus 7 phone-ish kind of UI. But as you see, these are some of the toggles. So if I pull this up and I hit that, these are some of the enabled toggles. Try to turn that to brightness so it's easier for you to see. I don't know why there's two brightnesses. Hmm. And then, of course, you have your regular toggle so when you switch it back to you know whatever that UI is when 
you get the Nexus 7. Um, signal, you can change the text color and the text style and stuff like that. On your battery, you see I have the Circle Mod. Let's see if I can get it close up. Is it gonna? There we go. Focus. See, I have the Circle Mod where it says 54%. I also have the Center Clock too, by the way, with the day and the AM PM small. So let's wait for that to focus. Oh, that's under clock, by the way. You can have center clock, left clock, or... Actually, I think it's just center and right. Yeah, there is no left clock. They should really add that, though, because I, th I think it'd be cool if you had your clock on the left. It'd be different. Of course, not like this, but... You know, if you had it, like, where it was up at the top again, I think it'd be cool if it was on the left and your notifications were on the right. But that's just me. And then you can choose your clock color, too, by the way. So let's go into status bar settings. This is where you can choose your background. You can also choose your custom carrier label. I have Brands Nexus 7. And you can also show the notification count. Notification count, you see right there. Get it to focus right there next to the Play Store icon. The little blue-ish bubble underneath it. That is a number. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say it. Number six. So I have six updates available for the Play Store. So that's just letting me know how many updates. If you have a Gmail down there, it'll show you how many Gmails you have if you have more than one also. So that's one good thing to know. And of course, with every... Actually, almost every ROM has these besides the stock-based ROMs. You have your custom theme chooser. For the sake of this video... Whoa. For the sake of this video, I am running the stock system theme. But as you can see, I have all these themes that I can go to if I wanted to. Neutralize is honestly the sweetest, but if we keep going, if we go under sound, you can see you, have, you can have the extended volume panel. So if you hit settings, the volume panel extends, which is kind of cool. A lot of people don't notice that you can have it expandable or expanded which if you, if you have it expanded then it's always you know you don't have to hit the little thing and of course you have your quiet hours and stuff like that if you go under display not really much different here let's keep going you do have the signage of my profiles and user and restrictions so you can add different users to this tablet so let's say if my nephew who's only five use this I can only allow him to access all the games that I have on here so that's pretty useful if you have kids or you know just if you have someone that comes over and like they want to use your tablet so let's jump into battery let's see if I can get a close-up you see it says 14 hours 22 minutes and 29 seconds on the battery life um, so if I go under display or a screen my bad you can see that my screen has been on for three hours and one second and if I refresh that it'll be almost three hours and one minute but we're still at sorry if I keep you know getting this out of focus and stuff but we are still at 54% so battery life on this is well fantastic so it's one good thing to note so that's pretty much it besides all the custom wallpapers you get with baked ROM. Oh. Not sure why it just flipped that way though. But anyways, here are a few of the custom wallpapers, which are a lot. This is page four. Page five. I like the red and black one. It goes with my red and black theme. Little Nexus one, the Roots Wiki. And page seven. So there are seven pages of themes. So I don't like holding the tablet like that. It looks weird because like the camera is right there and the volume and power buttons right there. So sorry about that. Get it in focus, and there we go. Some of you have been asking me to run a quadrant on one of these ROMs. I don't know why. I don't really use quadrant for testing purposes because it doesn't really show like performance wise but I'll give it a shot so let's do run full benchmark again why do the apps keep changing over there 
So I just clicked run full benchmark. And I guess I'll hold it this way then. The app isn't opening. Okay, so I'm not gonna run a quadrant. I don't know if this ROM is incompatible or it just has issues with quadrant. So that's one thing to note. I get it's not an issue at all, but I guess if you do run quadrant standard, just because you want to, I guess if you're that kind of person. But I did want to show you guys the tablet UI. So if I go to something like the camera. You can see that the camera is in the tablet kind of UI, and I was kind of messing around, and you see my horrible setup with like erasers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's upside down. Bam. For the focus, and there we go. But you see, you have the you know the tablet UI for the camera. You can't find the home button. You can't find the back button. So, yeah, just ignore that picture. So the camera, like, the home button just kind of went away. Oh, it was up there. Well, I don't even know. Don't. Not even going to go there. But if we go over to YouTube, because that's the app that I use the most. So if we go into YouTube, you can also see that the tablet UI is also in the YouTube app. So you get that awesome... Uh, carousel like effect if my camera ever decides to focus okay well there we go but you can see the carousel like effect that you get in the tablet UI of YouTube which is always pretty cool so I'm going to show you guys the boot animation and that'll be that'll be mostly it for my review it has awesome performance you just seen the battery life. The battery life is just fantastic. I use this for Netflix. I use it for Twitter. You see Plume right there. I play some CS Portable on it. I listen to Pandora on it. And yeah, it's basically my multi multimedia tablet. It's mostly all I use it for, which which works. I mean that's what it's for basically. So it helps save battery life on my phone. Wait for this to power on. You can see the awesome boot animation. It says baked. That kind of flashes once and it's just gone. I think it'd be nice if it kept flashing, but it's just my personal opinion. Alright guys, so this was my full review of baked ROM. If you guys have a ROM recommendation, leave it in the comment below. Or hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what's your favorite ROM and if you want me to check it out. Or if you have a custom ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Because so far I'm still on AOS KP. Because I don't really have time to change ROMs and stuff like that. I wanted to get this review out though for you guys. Because I know I was going to do it last week. I've been really busy with school. Because I had to write some papers and you know stuff like that. Which you guys should know about being in high school. So, But here is the Team Baked ROM that is fully booted up. If you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos in the future, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.